Hey everyone, it's Jared from Drumio, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to play the drums. Now, I'm not gonna assume you have any prior knowledge, and we're gonna start right from the beginning. I'm also not gonna go into any complicated theory or anything like that. What we're gonna do by the end of this video is get you playing a simple beat and a simple fill. That is it. So whether you have a drum set or whether you don't have a drum set, you can use this video to help get you started learning drums. Now, why do people play this instrument? Some people just play it for fun. Some people play it because it has many health benefits. Some people want a different hobby. Some people want to make money and turn this into a career. Whatever that is, this instrument is such a great outlet for all of those things. So to get started, just make sure that when you hold your drumsticks, you're holding them in a nice, relaxed grip. This is the most important thing. We can go into more detail on this sort of thing in future videos, but just grab the sticks, hold them in a nice, loose grip. Next thing you wanna do is make sure that they're set up in a way where you can easily reach everything. You'll see here, up there, on the overhead camera, how everything is nice and close. I'm not having to turn or twist, and I can just simply reach everything around me. The toms aren't super angled, they're kind of, gently sloped towards me. So like I said, we're not gonna talk about any theory. All I'm gonna ask you to do is just count to eight. Now, can you count to eight? I'm sure everyone here can count to eight. And not count to eight like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're not gonna do that. We want eight evenly spaced counts. So if you just tap on your leg with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 And for the purpose of this lesson, we're actually going to go a little bit slower. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Evenly spaced notes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now that you have that, hopefully you're playing along with me. This is supposed to be very interactive, so make sure you play along with me, whether you have your drum set or whether you're just sitting there tapping on your legs with me. Anyone can do this. So next, just put your feet on your pedals or just put them on anywhere in front of you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the hi-hat. Okay, this is called the hi-hat. So just close it with your foot and I want you to put your right hand here if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, you can put your left hand on the hi-hat or put your left hand on the hi-hat over here if you set up your kit in that way. And now we're gonna hit the hi-hat on all eight counts. Here we go. Ready and There you go, eight evenly spaced notes on the hi-hat. Practice that if you need to, go ahead and stop the video, just get this going comfortably, make sure you're playing nice and loose, you're not doing the death grip on the stick, nice and loose. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the snare drum, which is I call the steering wheel of the drum set, we're gonna hit the snare drum on counts three and seven, okay? So when you say three and when you say seven, you hit the snare drum. So let's start off with just the hi-hat, and then we're gonna add in the snare drum after a few rotations. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 So there you go. Now you can also do this on your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No excuses, okay? Now we're gonna add in our bass drum. The bass drum is here with the right foot and all I'm gonna do is stomp that pedal on counts one and counts five. 
All right, so I'm gonna start with just a few rotations of only the hi-hat, then I'm gonna add in a few rotations of only the snare drum, and then I'm gonna add in the bass drum, and we're gonna play that for a while. So go ahead and play along with me. Here we go. Ready and go. Now you are playing a simple rock beat. You can go ahead and put on ACDC back in black and you can play along like a champ. So you wanna be able to do that until you can just play that without counting. You can just simply play the groove. Next thing we're gonna learn is how to play a fill. Now a fill is used to kind of release tension or build anticipation. So listen to any of your favorite songs and listen for that fill. The big tom roll in, in Wipeout, or there's lots of fills in ACDC tunes where it's just simple snare rolls. So all we're gonna do here is we're gonna play all eight notes, but instead of just doing them with one hand on the hi-hat, we're gonna do them alternating strokes, right, left, two on the snare, two on the high tom, two on the mid tom, two on the floor tom. So what we can do is we can just start by cycling this, two, 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 back and forth, just to get comfortable with it. Here we go. Again, make sure you're playing nice and relaxed, Make sure all eight of those notes are evenly spaced. This is what's most important. And what a lot of new drummers don't get is they'll play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which sounds completely different. Okay, so once you get that, we wanna play a beat for three rotations, and then we wanna play one rotation of that fill. So that would sound like this. So congratulations, you've just learned your first rock beat and your first fill. You're off to a fantastic start and the sky is the limit. Drumming is so much fun. It's such a great hobby. Whether you just wanna play alone in your basement, go to local jam nights, play in your local church, make this a career, you could really take this anywhere and there's so many great opportunities. And learning music is just one of the best skills I've ever chosen to develop. So thank you so much for watching and I want you to leave a comment below and tell me, did you get this lesson? Were you able to get it on the first try or do you have any questions? Go ahead and leave those below and I'll see you in the next video.